Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a review, but um, the other day I got this guy in, so I think it's time to review him. Uh, I'm going to apologize ahead of time if anything is off, meaning um, the way I'm talking, the lighting, uh, something I forget to mention on this figure, because I really just want to get it out there because I don't think anybody has reviewed him yet. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time just in case I miss something. So uh, here we have the... Um, SH Figure Arts Tiger and Bunny Fire Emblem. This one was an exclusive to, I believe, the website, um, but I pre ordered him on Amazon, which I think you could still get him. Um, a little bit of a warning though, I think I paid $20 less than what he's going for now because I pre ordered him, and uh, I didn't realize that they were going to up the price on people. So, um,. You could check on Amazon. I believe Big Bad Toy Store has it too. So, but uh, I lost my sponsorship to them, so you won't see me uh, advertising for them. So don't bother clicking the links because I don't get anything for it now. But anyway, so uh, he came in this mailer thing. You know, the Fire Emblem. I don't think it's necessary to show you inside or show you the box inside the box so it's not necessary anyway um a warning here on the front which i don't seem to see on any other um oh yeah you know it is on the front of other boxes but i don't remember it's not on here with most of them it's usually on the on the cardboard itself so no big deal um him over here uh, when he's well, that that's the that's the figure form of his superhero mode, I guess you could call it. And then here he is in uh, human form, very. Um, see, I told you I was going to do this. I knew I was going to draw some blanks. Um, Dennis Rodman, very Dennis Rodman looking. So pink throughout the box, which is weird because he has no pink in his costume but his lipstick. Here's the back, some poses, uh, Helios Energy, I believe is the sponsor for him. What? Borg, Borgius Open Flame Broil. I'm not sure if that's what he says in the anime. I haven't watched it in a while. Finished the whole season a while ago, but um, he may have said that. And then the bottom. So let's get him open. All right, so here he is out of the box. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that his, uh, I guess, human form name is um, Nathan Seymour, or his civilian name, whatever you want to call it. So um, first thing out of the box, this is what you get. Um, a very uh, customized build. Uh, I know most of the Tiger and Bunny figures are very customized regardless but there's uh what a lot of people like to say is a standard sh figure arts body but he is a little bit taller than most i believe and then he um has a different kind of structure to him same overall um build in the art articulation and all that but so um he first comes out without his cape on so i wanted to sh kind of show you guys um, how he looked for a second and mentioned that his cape comes in a clamshell in the back of him. Now, they did this whole thing with the clamshell where the seam is right here instead of down here now because I guess they save all of this plastic that goes all the way around this thing. So I wanted to just mention that, which I think is a great idea. So it, cost, it cut costs for them, so it helps you know, Bandai out a little bit, which is which is awesome, you know, because then they can save money and do better things. So I'm just going to open that up. First off, we get a cape where it's like a flailing cape where he, it's um like if he's walking. So that's pretty cool. It's it's uh, hard plastic. Ooh, knocking him over. It's hard plastic and painted with metallic paints that fade from red to like a greenish yellow, which is really cool. And it plugs in his back right there. I will uh, I will demonstrate with the other cape just because this is this cape is in a stationary position like this. And then here's the other one. So on the inside, it's um, a flat color. 
it still has some fading to it. It goes from like a dark red to a lighter red. And then you got the like yellow arrows right there. So there's the back and then his little symbol things too, which are really nice looking. I thought they made a, a nice accent for the costume, especially since they were animated in the show. And then of course he has a stand, um, not too fancy, just with his name on it and sponsor and stuff. So I'm not gonna put that together um, I like to think that my, to do my reviews as if someone has never held a SH Figure Arts figure in their hands, they don't know anything about them, just in case this is the first review you're seeing, but a stand is pretty much a basic stand, so I like to go over the figure and mention more than most people do in their reviews, so, cape aside, I'm going to plug the cape in. He has three holes on his back. The two here on the left and right are the only ones that really matter for the cape. This is more for, I believe, the uh, plug for the stand. So the cape fits in very nicely, as you can he maybe have heard. Um, it clicked in. And now he's super fabulous with his awesome cape and it does help him stand which is another good thing so if you want to get him in those weird poses um, or not weird but like harder to do poses let's get this back into focus there you go um, and I'll try to zoom out a little bit here so now you guys can see what he looks like inside or inside with his cape on I told you I was gonna mess up somehow um, as for all the other accessories that he comes with he also comes with a left and right open hand. You know what? We're going to move him back a little bit. And we're going to do this. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to drop stuff. There we go. Okay, so left and right open displayed hands. Um, waving hands, whatever. And then we got left and right gripping hands and then there's I'm gonna show you both of these hands because they're they're both slightly different um, one's left and one is right there's these kind of like gesture hands like he's pointing or um, doing some type of pose and then there's one more hand, which is the same as the right hand that we just saw, but just with a flame on it. Kind of like how um, Lunatic was, if anybody has seen the Lunatic review. Uh, he came with extra hands that just fit his effects. So, unfortunately, that is it for the accessories. I'm kind of disappointed. Um, I know that they probably couldn't do too many just because of the, the two versions of the cape and they included a stand some figure arts don't include stands um, <clears throat> now I, I would have been a lot happier with an extra head just because he's always gonna have this expression it's just the mysterious kind of just serious expression and for him to be such a sassy, goofy character, I would have liked to have him have, like, either, like, when he does the kissing face or, um, like, the uh, shocked face, if you guys have watched the anime and his mouth is open, like, oh my god, you know, that kind of face. Because he does that a lot in the show, and it would have been nice to have it. And it would have made a good um, face to use for displays. So, moving on, I'll go, go on to his uh, details here. We will start, let's start with the head. Let's see if I can get zoomed in properly. Right there, okay. So his crest kind of thing right here is sculpted in along with the backs and even the um, things around the eyes. Very luchador-esque mask. And then he has this point right here, which I'm gonna give you guys a little disclaimer, be careful when uh, handling this figure if you do get it because this thing is very very fragile and it's not very flexible it just bends like very slightly it's a very very stiff plastic and if it gets caught on like 
you know your clothing or something you can definitely break it off uh, as you can see he has his pink lips all white eyes of course because it's what they look like when they go into their superhero modes or whatever um, or next whatever they want to be called I don't know all right so moving down he has the same kind of um, details that he had on his cape on the back right here and they were animated in the show if you guys watched it he's got this crazy crotch piece as you can tell going all the way down he's got some boots and he's got high heels yep he is wearing some crazy crazy high heels and like I said the the cape does help keep him up which is awesome um, I'm going to show you guys his gauntlets too. So really cool uh, details in the gauntlets all sculpted and very nice with the blue gem kind of thing and all sculpted and then the FMV right there that's the uh, the channel that they belong to and then on the other side he's got the anime logo so very cool very very nice um, sculpting on this figure and there's the cape again just one last time if you guys want to see it so very very nice detail on him I wanted to keep this review very short and sweet but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen so I'll go over his articulation because I'd like to do that just in case people don't know how a figure art figure is built so the head is on this double ball joint. It's got a ball joint that lets him move around pretty good. He can look all the way down. He can look all the way up, even though he's not a flying character. I don't remember him flying, at least. <clears throat> His special power is fire, which I did not met mention, but it's pretty obvious, I guess. Um, <clears throat> coming down, uh, we'll do the torso, I guess. So he's got it upper diaphragm joint which allows him to rotate uh, just enough and rock back and forth and then he's got a waist joint that allows him to rotate just enough also I, he can get that far in the total of the two joints which I think is great because that's all you really need um, you don't need him to do a 360 it's not necessary at all so then I'll go over to the arms we got this sleeve inside of the arm here that uh, allows to hide the ball joint. It moves with it. It's very, very nice. So you got the drop down and and everything with the uh, shoulder joint. And then he's uh, on a swivel here. Swivel at the upper bicep, double joint at elbows, which is fantastic. You can get more than this. Just the gauntlet kind of gets in the way, so you're gonna have to you'd have to maneuver it. Um, no forearm swivel, which I thought would be a good idea so that you can avoid this gauntlet piece from touching his bicep um, and then you got the um, disc ball disc um, wrist so you, obviously you can change the hands out but the uh, ball joint there and then the disc that allows it to bend and then swivel all the way around so a lot of articulation on the top and then for a second, I didn't think that he had this, but he has the drop-down uh, thighs, which is my favorite piece of articulation in all of figure arts. I think it's the best. It helps out for doing stuff like that, really high kicks and stuff like that. And then he has a rotation right here that doesn't allow him to go 360, but it does go a good amount. Uh, then he has these double-jointed knees with the kneecap right here, so it looks nice no rotation at the lower leg then he has metal feet from the ankle the actual ankle piece down so he has a ankle pivot it more so goes inwards than outwards if you could see there's no cut over here to allow it to go outwards um, not that he needs it but as you can tell it only does that and then a, a toe joint and forward and back here and I think it rotates but I'm not gonna I'm not going to mess with it too much because it's metal on plastic so 
All right, so here he is with all, right. all of the other characters that I have from this series so far. Um, he fits in scale with them, pretty much. Um, Origami Cyclone's a little tall, and of course Rock Bison's really tall. Uh, he looks really good with Lunatic. I did a whole fighting picture, which you might see at the end of this um, video. Um, the only thing that I really don't like is the size of them compared to Tiger and Bunny because these two guys are supposed to be in suits and especially Tiger's head looks very small next to uh, Fire Emblem and I know that they have a couple years in between each other like one or two maybe of the release of figures but at the same time I feel like uh, if they would have made his head any smaller it would have been horrible and they might have had to make his head small for the build of the character. I don't know, but I wish they would have upscaled these two just a, just a little bit. All right, and here he is next to Archangel. Of course, I took the wings off just for sake of balance and scale. So you can see that uh, he's a totally different scale. I, I believe that figure arts are true, one twelfth scale, and uh, Marvel Legends are a little bit off, just just a little bit bigger. So my final thoughts on this guy. <sighs> I like him. I really do. I think he's worth picking up, and definitely to have just to complete the team. I mean, we got the um, we got Blue Rose coming. I don't know if Dragon Kid or whatever is getting released. It would be nice to have all of them, but you know, this is one step closer to having the full team. If you really like the anime that much, which I did, so and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. But that's on a different note here. Um, details, color, our articulation for this figure is great. There's only there's only three things that it really bother me, and one is that the crest on the top of the head is not um, as durable as I wanted it to be. But that's no big deal. They could have made it a rubber piece, but that's no, you know, no big deal. Um, the main thing, though, is definitely the boots. I can't get over the an ankles there. It's just this whole thing is just ugly to me. They could have either went with um, a sleeve over the ankle, kind of like what they did with uh, Tiger and Bunny. Like, maybe even flexible plastic over the ankle. Or even the new um, articulation that they have where it's a post that goes into the foot instead of this thing. So it would have been nice to hide all that. And it makes them harder to stand with these heels but that's no big deal it's just it's just the ankle just it looks ugh, you know what I mean I'm sure you guys all understand what I'm talking about um, and then the last thing is that he has no alternate head which you know lunatic came with one why why can't fire emblem all right guys so that's it for this review I'm sorry I drug it on so long um, like I said in the beginning it was going to be like this so don't forget to uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, please do ask uh, in the comments below. All right, guys, later.